What's up guys, Gary here with Self.Dev. Today we are gonna talk about Team Treehouse, more specifically, should you do the front end tech degree or the full stack JavaScript tech degree? It's what one of the comments here was asking. So I went ahead and pulled up Team Treehouse in an incognito window here. Um, don't ask why it's in an incognito window. So yeah, this is Team Treehouse. It's basically like they've got, I mean, this is what I use to get a job, basically. I studied Team Treehouse for like seven, eight months. Probably, I think it was like seven months, yeah. Um, I did most of the front end tech degree, most of the full stack JavaScript tech degree, and then I got the job that I have now. And I've been working there for about uh, nine months. Has it been nine, eight months? Yeah, because I started December 3rd. So coming up on a year here almost, and it's been a great job. Um, we started off doing WordPress, and now we're starting to, we're about to start using Gatsby and SAS, so getting to expand my skills and all that fun stuff. But anyway, enough about me, um, back to Team Treehouse. The tech degrees, th um, honestly, this is like, this is probably what I recommend the most. If you have the money and can afford it, and you want, you're serious about getting a job in the web developer, like as a front end developer, this is what I recommend. Um, why? Let's go ahead and open these up real quick. So the front end tech degree, first off, what I love about it, they've got videos, which I don't really like where it's just like text-based stuff. I prefer to be able to watch it and see somebody do it and kind of like follow along with them. Um, they've also got like quizzes that go with it and assessments. And then for each unit, I think they've got like nine units, 10 units. Yeah, they got nine units. And for each unit, they have a project that you build. And they're really good looking projects too. Like this is one of the first ones you make. It's a portfolio site. I mean, it's not that it's not like it's not gonna like blow your mind, but it's like a solid looking portfolio, and it's enough to impress potential employers. Um, and then they got this code review form thing you make, and then they've got this photo gallery that use jQuery plugins, and these are all things you code yourself. Like you don't, you're not watching a video while you do these. You are, they basically give you a mock up, say, all right, use this, this, and this, make it, they give you the specifications and then you build that on your computer. And that's what I think really drills the code down into your head, actually building projects on your own. You don't really, when you watch a video of somebody doing something, you get like the gist of like how to do it and it might make sense while you're watching the video, but there's a difference between watching the video and then when the rubber hits the road and it's like, all right, build this page. And then you're like, oh wait, I don't know how to do this as well as I thought I did. And you actually have to Google how to do stuff and like go through your notes and get it done. But yeah, so they've got the front end tech degree. It's got nine units. Um, it's got like, like I was saying, it's got the videos. They have quizzes in between each video almost. They have little challenges for you to do between some of the videos. And then at the end of each unit, you get a project to build. Um, does, can I expand this? Okay, cool. So yeah, the front end one, I um, mean the, the yeah, front end developer tech degree is gonna obviously focus more on front end stuff. Um, in unit one, you learn HTML, CSS, just like the basic stuff. Unit two, you learn some stuff about media queries, responsive design, more advanced CSS. Uh, unit three, you build an online registration form. This is where, okay, you learn some Flexbox here and then some more CSS and HTML stuff. And it just slowly builds and builds and builds until eventually you get to like a game show app you're using ES6 JavaScript, um, DOM manipulation, template literals, which template literals are awesome. Um, and then number eight, you interact with an API with Ajax and I think web app dashboard. No, you don't do React in this one. I think you used to do React in the front end developer one, but then they, they must have changed it. Um, but yeah, you learn some like really important skills that you need to know if you're going to be your front-end developer. So I'd say do this one first if you don't have any experience at, with HTML or CSS. Um, actually, even if you do have experience with HTML and CSS, do this one if you've built less than five projects. Because like I said, what really drills the code down into your head and teaches you this is doing the projects yourself. You don't learn by, I mean, you learn a little bit by watching the video but what really drills it down is building the projects. So definitely do this first if you've built less than five projects before, five HTML and CSS projects. And I'm talking about you pull up a text editor, you do the HTML5 
or doc type HTML5 and you like hard code it all yourself. So the full stack JavaScript degree, that one's gonna be more focused on like JavaScript, obviously. Um, first project, you build a random quote generator. I think it's this thing right here, basically. Nope, that's tic-tac-toe. Way to read, Garrett, come on. Yeah, uh, so it's, it look, it's similar to this one. I built this one in React. So I'm hosting it in code sandbox, but you basically just click new quote and it gives you a new quote and the background changes. So nice little first project. Um, it helps a lot if you've done that full stack or the front end developer tech degree and you know what you're doing with HTML and CSS. Um, I think for a lot of the JavaScript tech degree projects, they actually give you the HTML and CSS. That's another reason I recommend doing the front end developer tech degree first. Because with this one, they're gonna give you HTML and CSS and you're focusing way more on the JavaScript part. And as a front-end developer, you need to have HTML and CSS at least like a base level down to get the job. Um, then there's pagination and filtering. That'll load. Um, and they start teaching you ES 15, uh, 2015, ES6 pretty much. Um, an interactive form project where you learn basics of jQuery, which, I mean, people say it's dying, but like we still use that at work, kinda. Uh, my manager, Marvin, wants to get away from it, but a lot of our websites have that on there. Um, then project four, you start doing object-oriented JavaScript, callback functions. Um, I think you, you do learn about HTML and CSS in this one too, maybe. Yeah, a little bit, but it's not as heavy a focus as this one. And then this one, you like, yeah, you start interacting with APIs on Project Five, do some Node and Express, and then you start building React Photo Gallery, learning SQL, learning the REST API, and then, yeah, there's ten lessons in this one. So, might take a little longer to get through. I think each one probably uh, depends on how hard you're working, I guess. I mean, you can get through. You can only submit one project a week. That's one of the downsides. So you can't just do all this in a month. Um, the minimum like with the front end tech degree is I think like two and a half months, right? So nine weeks, four, eight, I guess like a month and a week, two months and a week is as fast as you can get it done. Um, and then this one's like two and a half months pretty much. So yeah. And then another thing I like about the projects, you actually submit it, you upload it to your GitHub and then you submit it to Team, to team Treehouse and somebody reviews it and grades it, gives you a passing score or not if you meet the specs. And that's another thing that kind of holds you to the, the high standard of making sure you do your best on the project. Because if you don't meet all the specs, you're not going to pass. Anything else? Um, it is kind of expensive. I mean, it's $1.99 a month. But I mean, I thought of it as like an investment in myself. And you do get like a seven-day free trial if you sign up. Um, I'll have a link in the description if you want to sign up for Team Drew House. You can check that out. I don't use it anymore because my work pays for front-end masters. So I'm using that. If you have a job as a web developer already though, this is definitely what I recommend checking out. I think it's like 40 bucks a month, but they go super in depth on this stuff. Like they look at the JavaScript, um, figure what it's called. But they talk about like coercion and they get into detail about scope. Um, that's just really high quality stuff. Like the guys that teach it are people that have worked at Microsoft and Netflix and places like that. But anyway, yeah, if you're going to sign up for Team Treehouse, long story short, if you don't have any developer experience, start out with this one. Actually, if you don't have any developer experience, go to Free Code Camp and do a few sections on that first just to make sure this is something you're interested in. It's Free Code Camp. should look like this. Um, I'm going to be honest with you. If you're just in this to make, like, if you're like, hey, I'm going to study this for, like, three months and then I'll be making a 100K, no, this isn't for you, dude. Go find something else because you're going to have to study this for a while and you're probably not going to start off making 100K unless you live in like Silicon Valley. And then it's not even like 100K. It's basically like you're making 30K somewhere else or something from what I've been told. But yeah, start off with this. If you have a, sorry, start off with this. If you have absolutely no experience, just to make sure you like it, as long as you like it, do this first. Get through most, if not all of it, and then do this one. I'd say when you get to like project number four, start applying for jobs. Actually, even project number three. 
if you use this as your portfolio page, but make it look a little bit better than design because this is what the mock-up was for that portfolio page. Make it look better than this. Put your own spin on it and then start applying for jobs as soon as you get projects here. But yeah, I hope this helps you out, guys. Uh, if you have any other questions, leave them down in the comments below and I will probably make a video answering your question. Um, I just like using the questions as content for my videos. So. We also have a Discord if you want to come hang out in the Discord. Um, if you join the Discord, go over to the welcome channel and introduce yourself and throw like a link to your portfolio if you have one or just let me know where you're at in your dev journey. It'd be pretty nice. And I think that's about it. Um, I'll have a link to Free Code Camp in the description as well and my portfolio if you want to check out my portfolio. This is what I, I haven't changed it since I got a job. So this is what it looked like when I got a job. But yeah, I will see you guys next time and have a good rest of whatever the whatever day it is. Bye.